Well, I'd hate to hear you say otherwise. Yeah. Good morning, Arizona. Back here live for our field trip Friday in Williams. And you know what? One of the things that we love about our station, we are so fortunate to have Miss Mason Carroll, who is our Flagstaff Bureau. So this is the first time we're actually meeting in person. I know. Oh, you hadn't met yet? No. Oh. Yeah. It feels like we know each other, though, yes. for all the morning live shots. And again, you guys are so brave. So we're happy to have you out here today. Well, thank you. It's sure a pleasure to be here. So what are you doing in Flagstaff these days? Everything, you know, from covering stories in Flagstaff to all over northern Arizona and on the outside, uh, hiking, enjoying the great cooler weather here. Not to brag, right. but... It's okay, you can brag. It is much cooler. And we love all the people here because they've just been saying hi and excited to have you. One of the things I know that folks love doing is getting on the railroad. Tell yes. us, you had a fun experience with a different kind of steam engine. Yes, so Grand Canyon Railway has this environmentally friendly steam engine run completely on vegetables oil. Last week we got a chance to take a look at it, see inside and see how it's run and talk to the man who actually turned the steam engine into the quote French Fry Express. This is engine 4960 and it's special not only because it's one of about 200 steam engines in operation in the United States, but it's the only steam engine that's completely run on vegetable oil. was built in 1923 on the East Coast. However, after retiring and being shipped across the country, it landed at Grand Canyon Railway, where it took seven years to put together. Um, and it bounced around a couple other operations until we bought it in 1989. And when it came here, it was in pieces. Eric Hatter is the chief mechanical officer and has been working at Grand Canyon Railway for close to three decades. Have all these pipes you know, that you have in different places yeah. that move steam to work different apparatuses. One of the draws for him was the opportunity to work on steam engines. They're special. They're referred to as like a mechanical dinosaur. You know, they're from another era, from another time period. So when the company wanted to make more environmentally friendly choices, Hatter was the one who converted 4960 into the French Fry Express, which has run on vegetable oil since 2009. So we have a supplier that goes around to restaurants all over Arizona. Um, you know, so when the restaurants, they get done with their fryers and somebody comes along, picks that up and they take that back to the processing facility. They clean it and then they deliver it to us before each trip. 4960 is just one of the many sites and activities at Grand Canyon Express, which has taken passengers to the Grand Canyon for generations. Grand Canyon Railway is something I like to refer to as a generational product. People that come here grew up with it and bring their own kids. We have the kids ride free promotion that's going on right now with select overnight packages. For Hatter, the opportunity to share his love of locomotives and steam engines with every generation that visits the station means the world to him. The best part of it is seeing all of the, the kids and the, and the families out track side, people coming up, taking pictures, getting their selfies taken in front of it and asking questions. And I love that outreach and look, pe teaching people about the history of the machine and, and you know what you, time period that's that's long gone. And you can ride this one of a kind steam engine on the first Saturday of every month or during special events. For more information on that, go to our website, azfamily.com. For now, reporting from Williams, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.